teaching of the mentor. Sleep. Many people may say it's terrible to do evil deed, and then let me sleep. Don't you think it's bad deed to sleep? After the cause of the karma of sleeping has been planted in your eight sense field, then you will go to sleep in the future. It's very easy for a lot of people who like sleeping to become that kind of sloth. Maybe someone don't know what is called sloth. In Australian, there is that kind of sloth. All of you can look into it, and you will know how lazy it is. Even if there were coming a big fire, it would still be slow in action. Even though it hurt like hell, it would still be very slow and sleep there for many days. You may wonder why it doesn't run away quickly. It can't do it because it's lazy and this habit has come into being. Today people also call it sloth. No one can understand why there appears that kind of being. Now many people don't think it an evil deed to sleep because he thinks he does nothing bad when sleeping. But when you do the karma of sleeping or laziness, how pitiful you are in case all of you become sloths in the future. Praise Our Mentor By Fafu I praise you endlessly, our mentor, because whenever you see and hear the subtle dharma, you are humble and respectful with your palms pressed together sincerely and naturally. I praise you endlessly crossing the threshold of the temple. You shouted loudly and scolded him to death, so that he shrank immediately and escaped without a trace, not the mention entering the temple. I praise you endlessly, our mentor, because when the disciples said they felt sad when finding you take medicine, you replied, Hope all of your faith will move the mountain in the future. I praise you endlessly, our mentor, because you have sacrificed everything to accompany us patiently for a long time, exerted a gradual influence on us, corrected us with your kindness, compassion, wisdom and behavior gradually and appropriately helped us to plant the good roots of merit and virtue, to build up good conditions and improve our blessings and wisdom. I praise you endlessly, our mentor, because you have been versed in protecting your karma of speech. For example, you have never talked much about others behind their backs, and what you have talked is not beyond analyzing the reason in order not to create backbiting. I praise you endlessly, our mentor, because you are precise about everything, even about the film and television storylines, without any error. I praise you endlessly, our mentor, because you have been established in caution, deeply knowing that all is lost due to one wrong step. I praise you endlessly, our mentor, because you have been maintaining a high level of vigilance and paying close attention to details, exhorting us repeatedly, you must be precise because details determine success or failure and the devil hides in the details. I praise you endlessly, our mentor, because you have never wanted to take advantage of what others have given. I praise you endlessly, our mentor, because you take pity on us, advocating strongly to practice six ways to living together harmoniously and four bodhisattva paths to resolve the epidemic. I praise you endlessly, our mentor, because you have always owed the endowment and reputation to the Buddhas, bodhisattvas and sentient beings, always ashamed of not doing the job well. I praise you endlessly, our mentor, because you are proactive, not attached to fame and fortune and pure in causes and results.